Hello, so I thought I'd just jump on and give a quick update on this week. Um, yeah, the response to the two videos that went out at the beginning of the week has been phenomenal. So many shares and from that I've had so many people contacting me offering help and suggestions, thoughts, ideas. So that is phenomenal. Really good. Thank you very much to everyone who shared it. Um, so the first update is around finding a specialist. So on Monday we contacted a professor at the Royal Marsden and asked him to give his second opinion and that was just going off of the recommendation of one person. But then through this week and all the messages that I've got, this professor's name has come up I think about five times and that's from five people who didn't even know each other. So. I think that I have found my specialist, which is brilliant, really good news. And yeah, even though we've paid privately to get his second opinion, we should be able to transfer into the NHS for any treatment that needs to be done. Um, in terms of the two NHS referrals that I had, one was at Charing Cross and one was at Barts, haven't heard anything yet. I've had lots of people sending their suggestions about alternative therapies or things that could help so some of them are like supplements to take um, how to change diet including meditation um, and yeah I'm looking into all these things the meditation I'm quite enjoying it's helping me to sleep better at night which is really important for the body um, I'm overhauling my diet and yeah looking at all these sort of supplements and oils and which ones I can incorporate into my life. I can't try all of them, but just looking at which ones would work best for me. I had, because of the video that was shared, I had someone reach out to me, a really lovely lady, um, to talk about maybe doing some sort of hypnotherapy. It's kind of like hypnotherapy counselling and which will really help me to change my mindset because as I said before, even though I put on quite a positive face, I was sometimes quite negative inside. Um, so for example, I used to always say to my mum, it's, gonna, it's going to come back, the cancer is going to come back, it will come back. And I honestly believed that it would come back. And look what happened, it came back. So by changing my mindset and thinking more positively that no, I'm going to beat this and I'm healing, then surely that will happen. So this lady, she's not going to cure cancer, but she's going to help me change my mindset and think more positively, which is definitely something I need. Another important thing this week is that I learned about PDL1. So PDL1 is a protein. Now, if the tumor has got the PDL1 protein, then it will respond, or hopefully will respond, to immunotherapy. Like it should work. If it hasn't got PDL1, then immunotherapy won't work. But um, the professor at the Marsden has another idea if the PDL1 is negative. So my doctor sent off the sample on, like my tissue sample, on Wednesday, and it takes a couple of days for them to do the testing. So hopefully that test result will come back early next week and then I'll know, you know, the next step, what the treatment should be. So yeah, originally I was told that I needed immunotherapy, but this professor has said immunotherapy might not work. That's okay, there are other options. And yeah, a few people have asked, you know, did I want to set up a Just Giving page? But at the moment, all I've had to pay for is getting the second opinion from the professor and the PDL1 test which I think is usually really expensive my original doctor was able to send my sample off to a lab in London I think at UCL and that's being done through the NHS so I haven't had to pay for that it's literally just the second opinion that I've paid for so for now there's really no need to set up a just giving page and I'm hopeful that there won't be a need. In terms of clinical trials, I've also received lots of links 
of places where I can search for clinical trials. But I've also heard, you know, because of the video being shared and people getting into contact with me, I've also heard, you know, my friends having immunotherapy at this hospital or this hospital. So I feel like there are options out there if people are being treated with immunotherapy at, at the moment I feel a little bit more reassured that if I need immunotherapy I could get it I hope so um, so yeah that's the updates really found a specialist waiting for the PDL1 result um, looking at alternative therapies that can work alongside my treatment trying to be positive I am being positive yeah and it was a bit too hot outside so I came in um so yeah that's the update for this week there's been so much progress made and I think that's all because of the sharing that happened on social media so thank you very much and hopefully next week I'll get well, early on next week, I hope to get the result back from this PDL1 test and then maybe make some progress on getting treatment. But I'm definitely feeling a lot more positive and reassured that I'm going to be okay. Um, ah, here, this is just. Let me turn this around. This is all the information that I've been collecting based on messages from people and recommendations so yeah for the I've had a lot of links about clinical trials and where I can find them so I'm going to put them below in case they help someone else out um, and I've got a, another couple of ideas from people in terms of hospitals that are doing immunotherapy so I'll list them below and what else yeah I think that's it that's useful to share at the moment but if anyone wants to know anything let me know and I'll try and help as best I can so yeah have a good weekend and hopefully I'll have some more progress next week thank you